Hey guys, Lincoln Parks here and uh, with another episode of the I'm Lo Local Podcast. And today I'm, I'm truly excited to have uh, Ms. Lori Harris from uh, United Food Force Marketing Director. Lori, welcome to the podcast. All right, and you're you're not a stranger to the podcast, so so no, I'm not. It, you know which I'm I, not. It's a little <laughs> which, different role, which I, but you know, it's not not a stranger. Yeah, which I love, which I love. Yeah, you know, I, I love having you on. So, um, Lori, I know um, you know United Food Force is doing some some great things, uh, and you guys have a project that you are working on that you're you're, you're starting to, to to take over. So that's why we're here to really, you know, talk about this new project, talk about what you guys are, are doing at United Food Force. I know there were some, you know, partnerships and that, that have happened, some transfers and all that. So let, let's talk about that. So what, what is this big project that United Food Force has taken over? What, what's going on? Well, okay. So I think a lot of people in Henry County know Jasmine Granger and her cereal box challenge. And so she started this. I don't know, 14 or 15 years ago in honor of her dad. And so just, just as a little history there, her dad, Jasmine describes as just a really quiet man. Um, but it sounds like that quiet man had some really big feelings. And so they would go to different people's houses for dinner and they would take food and, you know, and, and these people didn't really have a lot of food. And he would get in the car and Jasno just recalled him saying, that's not good. You know, that's not good. And it really instilled a sense in her, a big sense in her of we can do better. You know, a community can do better with food insecurities. People don't have to go hungry. And so we need to do something about that. So yeah. Jasno grows up. She's thinking about something to honor her dad, which I just love about her. She's just an amazing person anyway. And so she starts yes. a cereal box challenge and she puts this little red wagon on her porch and says, hey, if anybody wants to put a box of cereal in here, <clears throat> you know, we'll take it. We'll make sure it gets to the right people. So yeah. she starts it. She's nice. doing it. 2019 rolls around and Brandy Craig, um, she's now at a friend's house. But at the time she was the president of McDonough Junior Women's Club. She said, hey, we want to help. And so they did, and they took it from this small collection to all of a sudden there's 10,000 boxes of cereal that's being collected in Henry County uh -huh. for the community, uh -huh. for the homeless people, for kids who have food insecurities. Um, and so they just went from, you know, here to here, and they did a really great right. job. <clears throat> but then, of course, COVID hit, and COVID um really kind of just realigned and reset our entire community. Yeah. Um, lots of nonprofits yeah. didn't go out there and do anything. People were suffering worse than they were. Um, it, it was a difficult time. And so yeah. this year, um, as I, as I came in to help United food force, um, they were talking about a cereal box challenge. And I said, wait a minute, I know somebody, let me go talk. <laughs> To Jasna. And <laughs> yeah. so I did. And then she was like, yeah, you guys can take it over. That's great that somebody wants to do it. And, and so um, with her blessing, we we're very excited. Um, not only her blessing, but her support. Um, Brandy's all on board. They're going to be, you know, sitting in the back, being my advisory board. And, and I'm sure they'll be helping me too. Um, yes. We're, we're going to do it. So we have right now oh, 10 different drop-off locations and People in Henry County can take a box of cereal, five boxes of cereal. They can, you know, whatever they want to do, or they can um, come in and do donate money, um, and we'll go buy the boxes of cereal. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. what it is. So we're going to raise ten thousand. So we hope <laughs> boxes of cereal. So no, yeah, yeah, and and that's very doable. With you know, with 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 all the people moving into Henry County, this is a great opportunity now for people to jump on board for something that's really, really important uh, in our community. So, um, is everything going on right now? Like it, it's it's live. It, it, you, you can it's people live. can bring cereal we boxes started, right now. Okay. We actually started October first. Um, we. <laughs> I had to get the barrels and I had to wrap them. And so we're delivering the barrels this week to those different drop-off locations. But if you go to okay. unitedfoodforce.org and go to cereal box challenge, you can see all of the people who are already saying they'll take, there'll be a drop-off location and awesome. take the cereal boxes. 
And, you know, a lot of okay. these really good, very strong community oriented companies have already stepped up. Um, Ram Tech, you know, he's just got a new place. Oh, um, yeah. On, yeah. Yeah, on 155. And he's like, you see this whole porch here? We're going to fill it up <laughs> with cereal, you know, like, and I believe him well. like, he's doing it. And of <laughs> course, Monterey yes. at Thompson's Market is all yes. on board. And of course, Michelle Amara with Building 140 and SCPC yes. Video and Marketing. She's in um, Nail Heating and Air, Henry County Parks and Rec. Um, you know, we've got some oh great gosh. people and I'm, and I'm still trying to get in touch with some people who um, had been drop-off locations. I just haven't reached them yet. And so we expect right. that to grow throughout Henry County um, for drop-off locations. That that's phenomenal, and and everybody that you name, you know, great uh, community partners. And like you said, I know I know there's more that's that's going to be coming. And I I I think you know, Lori. Actually, I, actually, let me take that back. I know you guys are going to get way more than ten thousand boxes a well, seat. I hope so. I mean, because yeah, I mean, look, it's 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 right now it's a prime opportunity to really do something like i said with all of the new people that are moving into henry county they find out about this i mean kids that are in school uh that 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 are are, are going hungry you know sometimes the people don't even know that um you know it this is an opportunity for businesses to to truly step up and you know if if, if you've been looking to do something in the community and really say you know i want to be I'm, I'm new to this community and i want to be a part of it or I've been in this community for years, you know, I've heard about the cereal box challenge, never been, you know, a part of it. And now I want to jump in and, and, and support this great effort. So, I mean, this is like a prime opportunity. So I want to go back to, you know, to, to, to Jasna and, 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 uh, and Brandy, you know, getting this, getting this started. That is phenomenal. I mean, for them as, as individuals, you know, to just, this is an idea to honor her dad, to honor Jasmine's dad. And it just blows up in the community like this. I mean, that that is like, she is a pioneer when, when it comes to like, you know, getting something like this started. And now you guys coming in and taking it to the next level. Because I, I know they were capped at, at some point where it's like, you know, it's only so much we can do. Um, yeah, right. There's and only now, so many hours in you know, a day. Yeah, so right, many times right. you can and, take and off so, of work to go get us, you know, to, to unload the cereal and, and bring back a new barrel right. or whatever. Yeah. One right. of the things that I really love about this program, well, there are so many things, which is why I was so proactive in, in getting this for United Food Force from yeah. Jasna and, and Brandy, of course. Um, <clears throat> the one thing is, and, and they they have shared this with me, one box of cereal is 10 servings of food and it does mm. not require a bowl milk right. spoon mm. napkin that's right it requires nothing and just mm. two that's weeks right. ago i was sitting at a nonprofit meeting um that nikki does at you know for caring for a cause she she has this nonprofit thing mm. and there were people there and they were reporting in henry county right now we're we're october 1st but this was two weeks ago so in September, a right. month and a half in, there are already 1,000 kids in the Henry County public school system that are homeless. So what? already we have that many kids. Um, wow. You know, Backpack Buddies is a, you know, um, Nikki does that too, Backpack Buddies. And right. Right. she in conjunction, so... Of course, everybody knows Operation Lunchbox, and they send out food for the weekend for kids in need in like, I don't know, six or eight yeah. counties, a lot of kids. And so Nikki right. took over Ola and Lokes Grove clusters. And just in those two areas, she's got 165 kids that she sends food wow. home with on the weekends so that these kids have it. And so right. what else is better than cereal that doesn't take anything right. there's a long shelf life it's easy to eat kids usually like it um they can be sent home right. in little serving packages or big bags um bag right. boxes right. um so yeah and then you know there's a whole wow. homeless group of people um i don't think i want to share where a lot of them are just because i don't think i want that kind yeah. of stigma anywhere but 
Um, yeah, there's a lot of homeless people. Um, United Food Force does emergency food boxes for anybody in need. And it doesn't matter where their geographical location is or how much money they make, if they lose their job, if they have grandkids moving in with them, if they if they just find themselves in need. Um, you know, right. United Food Force is already there. So what we want to do is to be able to bring um, all of the cereal in and then be able to distribute it to the smaller places, um, you know, people that mm. like they like Nikki um, that go out and, and right. get this food to those people or, you know, the Henry County school system has a wellness program and certain people are responsible for that in each school. And if the kid comes in hungry, you know, their job is to have food there to, to feed them so they can, they can study. Right, um, that's right. So that's another right. program that we want to support. Um, so, you know, it's food insecurity. Wow. You wouldn't think that in Henry County, food insecurity is an issue, but it it really no. is. It's everywhere, but it's even here in Henry County, way more than people know. That, well, I, I mean, you know, like like you said, you you don't really think about that, and you don't, you know, because you're 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 a lot of a lot of people are going to work, doing their thing. You know, they're running their business. They're you know they they're taking their kids to school. They're doing all of these things, and you, and you don't realize that, you know, you know, food insecurity is uh, a, an issue in Henry County because it may not affect you personally. Um, you really don't even think about it. You just, you just think everybody's eating, everybody has a meal, you know, kids are good. They, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's just normal, normal life as, as you know, for everybody else, but it's not, I mean, that, that is, that is so huge. And, and like you said, the statistics and just, you know, a small area and you have a hundred and some kids, you know, just think about that, that, that are, that are, are trying to figure out where's this next meal going to come from? What, what, you know, what, what, we don't have anything to eat when, you know, when we go home, you know, sometimes even coming to school is probably the best meal that they're going to get for the day. Yeah. It's, it's, you it's, know, it's, sad. it's really sad to think about that, you know, and, and I know I've heard stories from people who work with, especially kids, right. You send home, food with kids and, and, right. you know, they, they, they don't even tell people that they have it. They, they hoard it because they, they need that food and they're afraid that they're not going to get that food. Um, right. And so these little bags of food, they get sent home with people like backpack buddies or operation lunchbox, you know, those, that's what those kids are eating for the weekend, you know, whatever, mm. whatever they can put together and groceries are getting more and more expensive. It's getting harder and harder yeah, for these. Tell me about it. You know, these companies, you know, Operation Lunch by X and, and um, Backpack Buddies, I keep responding to those because I know those guys personally. They're, they're great pillars. Of right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, you know, but but if they have to raise the money, it's it's expensive. If they get stuff donated, it's it's they can do a lot more good. And cereal, right. while it's going up, like every, everybody, you know, everything else is, um, you know, a box of cereal is anywhere from depending on sales or BOGOs or whatever, you know, three to six dollars. And you know, right. for that little yeah. bit of money, you know, less than you'd spend on a cup of coffee or yeah. it just it, it can it can feed somebody ten servings of food. Um yeah. Yeah. And it could mean so much to these kids. Um and, and not That's just right. kids. There are a lot of adults here that are um, wounded vets or, you know, veterans with PSTD that don't stay at home or um, people who live in cars, you know, they don't have a refrigerator to keep stuff cool. And so shelf life matters. That's right. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to issue a challenge uh, to, you know, Henry County. All right, guys, we need to double the amount that, 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 that Lori and United Food Force are looking for. Because this this is a this is a serious matter in in our community, and all of us, each and every one of us, need to find these locations um, and go on the website, go on to unitedfoodforce.org, go on the website and find the locations where you can drop off uh, these cereal boxes. Get it done. So, Lori, how how long? Um, what's the window? Is this is this ongoing or what's the window? What what are we looking at? It's the month of October. Um, okay, so the, 
So right. it's it's the first through the thirty first. Um, I promise you that if you show up on November third and you have cereal, we will not turn you away. Um, That's right. But the bulk of it, the the numbers of boxes that we're counting, are October one through October thirty one. Okay. All right, guys. Let's make this happen. October one. It's October third right now. As we're recording this, it's October third. We got some. We we got the rest of this month to go. Let's double the amount of cereal boxes that we're gonna donate to United Food Force. We gotta make this happen as Henry County. We're, we're, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put. Okay, Lori, th this is what I'm gonna ask for you for, for for from you. Okay. Each week, I want you to tell me. Okay, and this doesn't have to be public right now, but you know, between you and I, I want you okay. to tell me. How many cereal boxes have we collected? You know, uh, okay. between that time. What I'm going to do uh, with 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 this, we're pushing it out there. I'm going to push it out there to everyone, everyone that I know, every every online platform, whatever. whatever. We're going to put it out there, and we're going to continue to keep putting it out there. We're going to use um, uh, this platform. We got the emails with with uh, thousands of email addresses, and we're going to send it out to everybody. And if you get this, you see anything with Cereal Box Challenge, United Food Force, you need to bring 20 cereal boxes to that, those drop-off locations. All right? So each person, I'm counting on you. We got to make this happen uh, um, for United Food Force. And, and what, what Jasna, Brandy, what you're doing, Lori, United Food Force, we got to make it happen. Okay, That's the so challenge. I just, came up, I just came up with a fun idea. You may hate me for it. Because I was just thinking, no, no, no. we can go trick or treating for cereal boxes, right? Okay. So maybe we'll I like it. it. You and me, we can we can get people to say we'll donate different companies. They don't have to go to the drop. Right. We'll donate X number of cereal boxes if you come trick or treating for them. We'll go to your company. We'll dress up, and we'll go to your company. Either you or me. I One of us I like that. Them. I like that. Lord. Okay. Yep. All right. We're gonna okay. Let's make it happen. I'm I'm good with right. that. I'm good with that. You on. This this That's is this. Right there. Okay. No. Look. I, look. I'm 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 fine. I'm fine being on the spot. You know because I'm not just I'm not gonna just talk and not do anything. So, I'm I'm my skin is in the game. Everybody's skin is in the game. We we, we got to make this happen for United. Right. So I'm gonna have to that's, figure that's out my my. Uh, <laughs> I have to figure out my costume because the Superwoman costume. Superpowers is actually on the scarecrow on the square, so I'm gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I need to think of something too. I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll make All it right, happen. Perfect. We don't have much time, so we got we got to be quick. Well, yeah, because I mean, we got to figure out even the time frame that we'll go trick or treating. That's so, right. That's right. Yeah, so, we can figure that out. All right. All right. So, guys, you 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 heard it. Um, you saw it. Uh, it's it's on the books. It's written, it's recorded, everything is there. We got to make this happen. So, uh, Lori, so in, in, in wrapping up, anything um, else that you wanted to share, you know, with us about, you know, what you're doing, what you guys are doing uh, at United Food Force? So I think that I've already mentioned United Food Force um, does does emergency food boxes. And so yes. what I would what I would tell people, you know, Rhonda Miller, who is the founder um, and the president of it's a nonprofit, United Food Force, really, really yes. cares a lot about um, food insecurity. She was one of several kids. Um, she talks all the time about one Thanksgiving break, a bunch of high school people came and they just brought in bag after bag of, after bag of grocery and groceries and, and how much that was their Thanksgiving dinner. It was how much it really put in her heart, um, community service. And, yeah. and so, you know, she of course has cancer and, and that's public knowledge now, you know, she was given three to six months to live, but she's still purposeful in her prayer and, and, you know, yes. believes that God's the ultimate physician and, and, um, <clears throat> you know, hopes that he gives her a little more time to do, a lot more things because she's got a lot of things that she wants to do for food insecurity, but um, also understands that, you know, God may have other plans for her and, and she's okay with that too. Um, yes. But she always talks about her army of angels 
the the volunteers that go to United Food Force and they're there and they work so many hours and on Thursday they're loading the cars and it doesn't matter if it's cold or if it's hot and they've always got a smile on their face and they're putting stuff in their cars and they're helping people. Um, Right. And when you go to United Food Force and you have a problem, and I know so many people, um, you know, I'm a very independent person. And so if I had to go and get an emergency food box, it would be very difficult for me and my pride. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and I think that it's that way with with almost everybody is that there's a certain amount of pride and it. it takes that um, from you when you have to go in. But just know that. Sorry. When you go in, um, you're not going to be ridiculed. You're not going to be put in a position where you're sad that you came. Um, you know, the people that are there really care about you and they care about your story and they want to help you. Um, mm, and there are sure. other programs there besides just the emergency food box that you can take advantage of. Um, and so I think just just know that when you go into United Food Force, if you really need them, um, you know, it's okay. They're there for you. They're yes. going to be there to try to yes. help you in ways that, that somebody else may not be. Absolutely. And then, and then my, uh, in my conversation that, that I had with Rhonda, um, you know, she just, I, I, you could just, you could just see it radiating off of her, you know, how, how passionate she is about, about what she does. And God just, God just, just, just open up so many doors for her to live out this mission, um, that, that she's, She's birthed with United Food Force. And I mean, it's, it's, it, this is such an important thing. You know, we don't want anyone to go without food, but more importantly, um, you know, it's God's mandate, you know, for, for us to, 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 to love on each other. And, and this is just, this is just a way of us being able to love on each other authentically and real put all the other things aside, whatever is going on in the society and community and all of that stuff, it doesn't matter. You know, this is like some of the most important things that, that, that you could do. So, and, and, and just in my conversation with Rhonda, that I, I, I could, I could feel it, you know, just from a minute, you talk to you, talk to her and, and, and talking to you, um, Lori, you could just tell it, it's, it's, it's real. This is, this is, this is something that, you know, is so near and dear to, to, to our hearts that, you know, we got to take action. So, um, Lori, you know, I always appreciate you. I, I always appreciate you. I, you know, I, I, I appreciate your, your friendship, appreciate you just, um, you know, what you're doing, um, and the blessing that you are to so many people, um, that you don't talk about, uh, but you know, we, we, we just want you to know that you're an inspiration um, you know, the things that, that you do for the community, they don't go unnoticed. Uh, you, you're just one of those special people that, you know, it, you, you just feel it's, it's just like family. And, you know, I, 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 I want you to know that, you know, we, we, we truly, we truly, you know, care about all the stuff that, that you're doing and, and just want you to know that you're a heck of a woman. Um, Thank you know, you. so. Yeah, just, I don't know just if you can see, keep doing what you do. <laughs> Thank you. No, look, it's it's the truth. It's, we, you, that that kind of stuff you just it, it's it's from the heart. It's it, it's true. So you know, th thank you for for sharing this. And guys, let's get these food, this cereal boxes out there, and we're gonna make this happen. I'm gonna post out. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and post a link for all the uh, uh for the locations um that that's on the on the website i'm going to share that as well so people could just click on it and see what's closest to them and just get there and make it happen yep and if they want to be added to that list just have them send me an email at um lori at unitedfoodforce.org and we'll get them okay. a barrel and we'll get them on there and we'll make it happen all right Lori, I always appreciate you. Thank you so much for being Thank on. Thank you, Lincoln. Goodbye.